I am a stakeholder. Um, I teach at WKU. I served on the Board of Regents for seven years, and I was chair of the Faculty Senate. So um, in consultation with our governmental relations uh, officials, I ask that my governmental relations folks at WKU reach out to the stakeholders. It's not the easiest thing to do because WKU is on spring break, and I think I'm missing the press conference right now about what they're doing about coronavirus. So there's certainly a lot of other distractions that have prevented the stakeholders from weighing in as much as they could. But I am grateful to them for getting back to us with 30 minutes ago with their statement. And the faculty leadership does not support this bill. And the questions they raise, WKU, like the other regional universities, has had both KTRS and a 401k style optional retirement program since 1996. So faculty have already had quote unquote choice for a while. The faculty have expressed to me that they're concerned that this is a benefit cut for people coming in to KTRS going forward. Um, people have expressed that KTRS is actually well funded. This is not the same conversation that uh, at WKU that we have over KERS where, you know, questions about the pension funds long term stability was in play. That's not at issue with KTRS. And this simply just doesn't seem like enough time to make a decision that will affect everybody going into KTRS going forward. It's a benefit cut. The faculty leadership sees it for what it is. It's a benefit cut for those going forward. It will likely force people into the 401k style plan, which until Monday might have sounded like a lot better idea than it does. So I think there's some pretty grave concerns. And for all of those reasons, I'm going to be voting no today on behalf of my stakeholders and my constituents. I feel for other regional universities who struggle more than WKU does at this point. But I would remind the people of this body that we can fix their financial problems very easily by funding higher education better in the Commonwealth. And that will help everybody involved in higher education, no matter where you are, from stakeholders to students to communities. I'm voting no, and I urge you to do the same. Thank you.